So on to the edit page. Now we don't need the edit and delete. We're already on that page. So we won't need this. Instead, we are going to uh, want to, what do we do here? We add a button, yes. So instead of the edit and delete, let me remove one of these. In fact, I don't need any links to this. What I need here is a button that says uh, browse file. Or browse image or something like that. Browse image to select here. Okay. And um, the name of the, let's see here, first name, last name. Uh, let me remove this maybe. Let's leave the image, refresh. Okay, cool. And then also I don't want it to be rounded here. Uh, let's just add, let's just leave it here. Let's remove the border primary. Let's just add border like this. Okay. All right. So there we go. Now you can browse for an image and uh, select it there. We don't need everything down here. So let's go ahead and delete all that. So this container up to this point, that profile was not found is okay. So let's just remove this container up to there. Refresh. Okay, there we go. So edit profile, that's great. We need a back button, I guess. So maybe we shouldn't have deleted. Let me go back to profile view here. Let me copy how some of these buttons look like. So back here, let me uh, paste. Let's see how that looked like. Okay, there we go. So this one will be the back button. So let's say back. Now back should take us to the profile. So all we need to do is remove uh, the edit there and we should be good. So let's try that and back. Okay, so we are back to the user's profile, edit and back. So maybe you can say, uh, Instead of back, you can say cancel, or maybe just back to profile, like so. Uh -huh. And then we should have one that says save. So copy all of this. This one should not be in a link. It should just be out here. And another class we need is to float it to the end, which is the right side. And this one will say save. Maybe save changes. And instead of success, this one will be danger. That way we know it's serious business. So select, okay. So back to profile, save changes. This one may be a different color. Let's try button uh, info. And let me whiten the text because button info has dark text. Okay, so browse image, uh, save changes, back, cool. But let me change this scenario right here. Now this scene here is similar to the signup page. So let's just go to the signup uh, and signup view and we can copy the form that is here. Most of the stuff that is here is required. So that's pretty good because we have all these if statements and get vars, et cetera, et cetera. We have this ranking system here. So that's all good. Let me go back to edit and replace the whole table with that code. So select up to the start of the form right here. Yep, like that. So let's see how that looked like. Okay, cool. So not exactly what I wanted, but uh, let's see what we can remove here. 
so add user will come out obviously so all this up to here should be out and then um, what is this shadow around it okay okay let's remove the margin top and max width in fact let's just remove this whole styling thing here so let's see what we get from there okay cool now it's saying errors is undefined on line 27 okay that's cool let's see uh, what we can do about that so i'm going to go back to profile and in the edit function i just want to make sure i have errors here set and errors will be equal to errors and just to be sure we'll add the errors function here and set it to an empty array okay cool so that solves our problem i guess okay there we go mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we still have a few errors here so first name last name email gender that's cool now here it's saying variable undefined variable mode and again mode here is unknown so let's go to the sign up and see what this mode is all about so mode is equal to students hmm so if it's students then this happens and then if it's students we return the user somewhere else mm hmm cool I see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so in this case, um, we may want to leave this because you never know, we might um, want to change the. Um, we may want to change a student to something else, maybe a lecturer, admin, or something. So maybe we shouldn't be using this mode thing at all. So let me just remove it from here and let it be. So out, out. That way we have more options. And the same thing here on mode uh, cancel. So let me remove this because the cancel should take us to the user's profile instead of the um, students so this should go to profile yeah now this is cancel right here we actually already have that here and let's see okay so maybe what i should have done is <clears throat> excuse me let me change this to save changes okay and then I'll get what I had here for back to profile, cut that and add it here on the console. Oh, back to profile. Then I can remove both of these, I don't need them. So refresh and there we go. So save changes, back to profile. There we go, here it is, save changes. And then we have all this. Now in here, I want to, we need to load the information that came with, um, with the row. So quickly, we would do this. Now we know the information for the user is inside the row. So what I'm going to do is you see where it says get var first name. We are allowed to add a default value here which is what ex exactly we're going to do i'll say row like this and put first name like that okay so let's see if that works out so as you can see there is bob okay so in the same way here i'm just going to copy uh, maybe do this instead Put that here, put that there, paste. And then I'll change last name and the email. 
and same thing everywhere here the default gender hmm so default value instead here should be um, hmm. paste gender and let's do the value here as well same thing but let me use my PHP tags like so and then close that okay and same thing here hmm so select a gender uh, value we'll do the same thing here as well okay so let me change all this first name to gender as well like that okay let's see what i have here so refresh I have male and okay good so last name isn't showing and why is that row last name because okay comma there and remove that comma okay back here refresh okay cool so same thing here only that uh, in the password we'll leave the passwords empty this way we know that uh, if somebody adds a new password here then they want to change the password if they leave them empty like this then they don't want to change the password so that's how it's going to be so for now it's just select rank and we'll do exactly the same thing here i'm just going to say uh, wait wait a minute rank default value um, what i do what i do I'll paste this here. Let's put rank and same thing here. Uh -oh. What have I done? Equal sign. Same thing here. Closing tag. Equal sign and change the first name to rank okay let's see what we've got all right so student actually in the text itself we'll see you we'll use uc words like this yeah should be the same thing for the gender you see words which is for capitalizing the first letter of each word okay <clears throat> excuse me there okay so this is all good now if I go back to profile and click edit this is what I get back to profile go back to students and let's try another student that's a guy eared it and there we go so everything is working fine only thing is we need to be able to save okay let's do that in the next video